Yo, yo, so the previous time we reviewed the source code for Unity and this time we're gonna do it for Unreal Engine. Here I have Unreal Engine 4.27, but this works in Unreal Engine 5 as well. Basically, I have a multiplayer template. First person shooter, of course, so you can shoot, you can do whatever. So over here, when you download it, over here in the game shooter, folder you have everything so I'm gonna go here in the maps and currently I believe in the level menu map yeah that's where I am so level menu and from here what I can do is I can hit the play button by the way there is music there are sound effects for all of this but I have of course turned them off because they are bothering me while I'm showing you everything so over here you have the multiplayer content so you can basically create the multiplayer from the server and the client side you can go and inspect that source code which we will do in a second so over here I can go in the single player and I already played with the template a little bit because I wanted to see how it is before I recommend it to you now over here I have the game mode that I've created I want this low or this small level because we have another bigger level where I need to search for all the bots and they're going to kill me by the way you have bots here with AI and all that stuff so over here you can select three different weapons currently you can customize everything so here new load out and I'm gonna click here to go and customize all of you know the things that I can customize so you have a shotgun you have a sniper rifle I personally am a you know burst or semi I want a semi over here for the secondary weapons you have pistols you have gadgets such as smoke flash grenades and all of that stuff but you don't care you just want to see what you have here okay there you go so now we can you know anyways I can press space to play the game again so let's go here quickly I want the auto let's see if the auto works I don't know you know I'm just you know checking everything so there you go auto works and can I kill anyone I believe I can but you know they can also kill me Anyways, how you can inspect the source code? Well, from here I can pause, I can inject myself, and I can go outside and check everything, you know, all of the game objects or pawns that we have. So I can click on this one. So we have BP base pawn, and basically all of them are located here in the blueprints. Then you have here the character. So I can go here in the character, and the base pawn is the one that has all the data or whatever you're gonna call it, or basically all the code as you can see here, for the input so here you have the melee input here you have the pink fire input so all of that stuff and how can you explore and by the way as you can see this is created in blueprints which again shows you that you can create a fully featured game with solely blueprints that run smoothly on any platform this can be exported on any platform so you can learn from this project you can use it as a base to create it for your own for your own projects so if i go here for the fire input so when it's pressed you can start shooting i can double click here and go and see how the start shooting function is being created and every single time so over here this is also a function so i can click on it and i can go here in the weapon master which handles the shooting as you can see so you can see how everything is structured how you can structure your own codes how you can structure your own blueprints and how you can create advanced functionality and if I go back here in the level menu because now I'm gonna go here in the AI here you have the decorators the blackboards and everything that you need basically to see how a first-person shooter AI is created you simply open everything that you need in the blackboard and you will see all the variables that are there if I go back over here let me just take a look at the manager and what he has so basically the code or the blueprints are simple they are simple to read the developer has made everything he commented a lot of stuff as you can see over here let me just go here not the viewport we have too many things here open so here is the event graph everything is commented over here you can see everything is documented and you can find easily whatever you want to find you can take a look at it and see how it is created and see how you can recreate this stuff and how you can learn from it so it's not only about using the blueprint to create your own games which you can do very easily and by the way don't say that i said that you can actually create cool portfolios out of this so you know we'll scratch that out but yeah as i said creating your own projects with this is easy and also learning from it which is what I preach most of the time you know don't just download a template and implement it without any knowledge 
but also learn from it how things are created because there are a lot of cool developers out there who create amazing things such as the AI that you see here, such as the multiplayer feature that you have here as well. So you can check that out on your own. You have a link to the project, which is on the marketplace. And yeah, if you like these source code breakdowns and if you want more of them, you can also get them in my lazy game dev where I do more detailed source code breakdowns and so on and so forth. Hit the like, subscribe and all of that stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.